This topic is a little different from what I normally cover on this channel. It's not really about a company. Microsoft is involved, but this video isn't about them. It's about a font. You know, a font? Like when you write a paper in Microsoft Word and you have a hundred different options of how you can make the type look? But if you're like me, about 97 of the hundred options go completely unused? Well, Comic Sans is one of those options. And up until recently, it was one of the many that I had never encountered. Ever since I started making videos for YouTube, fonts have become much more important. Before, I would just use the font that was set as the default, or possibly change it if I was instructed to do so. 99% of the time, I put zero thought into deciding a font. But YouTube forces me to create thumbnails, and sometimes graphics within the videos, so it forces me to be at least a little bit of a graphic designer. And this is where the fonts require more consideration. So if you're one of the many people that aren't involved in the world of graphic design, just understand that fonts may be a bigger deal than you realize. While they typically go unnoticed, they do contribute to the overall aesthetic of whatever you're looking at. Just looking at some of the more iconic movie posters, you can imagine how different they would look with a simple change of font. Just a couple weeks ago, Saturday Night Live had a pretty funny segment about how the Avatar movie cover looks just like the papyrus font instead of creating something original. So just a few weeks ago, I made a video addressing the bankruptcy of Toys R Us. As part of the video, I had to create a graphic that showed their debt over the years, as well as a thumbnail that would entice people to click on it. And as I said, the font is an important part of trying to make these things look good. I wanted it to complement the font used in the Toys R Us logo, and I just wanted something that was generally childish and goofy to fit with the Toys R Us theme. Comic Sans is one of the options in Photoshop, so when I came across it, it was perfect, exactly what I was looking for. And I stand by it today. These have the exact look I was going for. But here's the bad news. Turns out, people hate this font. It sounds crazy, right? I didn't even think it was something people can hate. How can you hate a font? And I don't mean people thought it was inappropriate for that particular use. I'm pretty sure people just hate the font. I had never gotten a comment about the font I used in a video, but in this one, I got a few. Eminem guy says, Comic Sans is strong in this one. Mr. Ryan here gave me a tip. He says, never use Comic Sans. Adrian says the Comic Sans was a nice touch. I suspect that was sarcastic. Carlis says I was very professional with the Comic Sans. The sarcasm was a little clearer on that one. This guy hopes I was using it ironically. Bailey wants me to tone it down. Manny says I'm a loser for using it. Jonathan wants me to stop using it. Thomas just wrote the words Comic Sans. And I feel it wasn't a positive comment. There were a ton of comments about the font I used, some of which were profane and I opted not to show. So I'm sure you agree that people just seem to hate this font. The question I had is why? For someone who had never used the font, this seemed insane to me. And when I looked into it, I learned the hatred is even more severe than I thought. In 2002, there was even a movement called Ban Comic Sans. It was put together by two people who were forced to use the font in a children's museum. Even though the whole movement seems to be a bit of a joke, it did get some traction, and I'm sure there's actual passion behind it. As far as I can tell, the main criticism of Comic Sans is that it's been misused. And I can understand this one. I already said it before. Fonts are important and should be used properly. If you're writing a college term paper, stay away from Comic Sans because it is unprofessional looking. Not to mention it's hard to read. The letters are all scattered in a weird way and it just doesn't look uniform. So there are many occasions where Comic Sans should be avoided. The funny part about this is that a font being used inappropriately is actually how Comic Sans was originated. It was made by a man named Vincent Conair for Microsoft. And it was made for a comic program, where you make comic panels, I suppose. He saw a dog talking in one of the panels and thought it was inappropriate that the font was Times New Roman. 
So he created Comic Sans, and it seems to have fit perfectly. So there's some irony. The number one reason people seem to dislike it is the very reason it was created. But I'm not completely satisfied with this answer of inappropriate use being the reason behind the hatred. Because I made a YouTube video about Toys R Us, which seems to be one of those occasions where it should be appropriate. I was actively searching for something that had that childlike, goofy quality. Yet, there's all these comments against it, and I doubt they all think I misused it. Mr. Ryan doesn't think I misused it. He says there is no proper use. I have two theories about why it's disliked. One is that it could be a conditioned response. Like how if I play this sound, A lot of you have negative feelings about it because you associate it with getting up in the morning. I'm sure just now there was a quarter second for some of you where you thought that this was a dream and it was time to wake up. So maybe some people have just seen this font misused so much that they have been conditioned to dislike it, regardless of the surroundings. My second theory is a little more intense. You know how sometimes when people argue against guns they make this argument? Guns can be good when used properly, but unfortunately we can't trust everyone to use them properly, and since those select few can't be trusted, nobody can have them. This might be the way people feel toward Comic Sans. Some people can't use it properly, so it's best nobody uses it. It's a pretty severe notion for the use of a font, but it seems to be what Mr. Ryan was getting at. Let me know in the comments any thoughts you have about Comic Sans. Did you even know what it was before this video? It's no Times New Roman, but it's up there with the most popular fonts. And plus, it's sort of a well-known thing in the internet community with the memes and all that stuff. Let me know if you have any other theories as to why it's so disliked. Some say it's just ugly in general, but... To that, I say there's still an appropriate time and place for it. And if you're one of those people that really hates it, please let me know why. Even after all this research and exposure to it, I can't say I have any hatred toward it myself, nor do I fully understand those who do. So any thoughts you have on any of this, leave them in the comments. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Thank you for watching.